Well, I've just been looking over the sale plans for the Haven, and two of them come with the plans, a Marconi rig and a gaff rig. So I was just measuring off to see how much line I was going to need for uh, the rig. Um, it's my intention to make my own sails for my haven, and in order to do that, I've been reading, doing a lot of reading, and I've recently uh, been reading this book, The Sailmaker's Apprentice, by Emilio Marino. And in it, he talks about uh, basically learning how to make sails and being an apprentice as a sailmaker. And so one of the things that he says here is in order to launch your apprenticeship, we're going to teach you about a ditty bag and help you gather together the tools that you'll need to make this. Uh, it's also going to be uh, useful for your own making and maintaining your sails. So the purpose of the ditty bag uh, contains all sorts of abstract things as well as a handy receptacle but the skills, that's the important part. So he goes on to say that basically all of the stitching and knotting that is needed uh, to make a ditty bag are the things that you need to learn in order to make a sale. So I intend to make one uh, as a practice. So the important thing first is the tools. And so there are several things that we need. Your hands, of course a sailmaker's palm, which looks like this, some needles, a knife, a sail hook, a fid, and a seam rubber. So there are, of course, uh, a bunch of other tools that you would need, but most of those I've already got. For example, push pins and awls, a tape measure, um, Things like a good pair of heavy-duty scissors, um, twine, thread, all of those kinds of things. But most all of those things I've already got. So I started building some tools uh, several weeks ago. And let me take you over to the bench and show you the sort of core of what I've gotten started. So to get started with our basic tools that we need, some of them I already have. So I have a nice pair of shears, and I've got a nice awl that I made. And um, several episodes ago, you saw that I made this rigging knife. So the uh, five tools that we need is one, we need uh, needles. So I purchased some sail making needles, and they're a little bit different in that they're triangular shaped as opposed to just round. So what we have here is a seam rubber, a fid, a scorpion hook bench hook, and a sailor's palm. So I'm going to show you how I made all of these four tools, starting with the seam rubber. Now it has a special uh, compartment in it, which I made it so that it would open up and that you then can store all of your needles inside of here. Like so. So let me show you how I made this.
Now that I've got it all glued up, uh, it fits really nice. One of the things that I wanted to make sure that I did and why I left these two, the turning blocks on both ends is so that when I did put this flat like this where they were both level, I was able then to line it up very nicely. And you can see that I was able to get the grain to line up uh, properly also. So the next step now is to cut these two turning blocks off and shape the uh, head of it here and get it sanded and put a finish on it. So I've got to say, I'm pretty happy the way this came out. This elm just really turned out beautiful. It's really a nice hardwood, uh, which will serve the purpose of what a seam rubber does. Let me show you how that works. So if you have a piece of canvas and you're wanting to make a seam on it, then what you would do is to take this and rub across that seam like so. And so what that does is it makes a nice crease in there so that you can then you would be able to sew your seams together. So I'm um, really happy with the way it came out. So let's talk about the next tool. So the next tool we're going to make is the fin. So a while back I showed a sculpture that I had decommissioned and I actually used some of the pieces to make the handle for the framing slick that I made. Uh, so I have quite a few of these and they're basically cherry spindles that I have left over. So I'm gonna use this for the uh, fit.
So the fit came out pretty nice. Uh, you can see that I had put that little brass um, trim in there for a lanyard. Uh, I tied a Turk's head knot on here, mainly for um, decoration, but it also, from what I understand, helps make it so that you can hold on to it a little better. And I noticed on the back of um, Marino's book, uh, he had, uh, there's a picture of a fid with a Turk's head knot tied on it. A little fancier than the one that I did, but it does say in the book here uh, how to tie one, which is what I used in order to tie this knot. So the next thing that we need to do is to make a bench hook is right here. So this is the bench hook that I made. And one of the things that what these needle sharp hooks do are they are for grabbing a hold of the fabric and actually acting like a third hand. And then you need about five or six feet of a lanyard on there in order to fasten to your bench. So here you can see that there is a small little, what he calls a scorpion stinger-like on the end of it. And what that does is it prevents a big end of a hook making a big hole through the canvas with just a tiny little one. So you can see that I've figured out how to add a little scorpion tail to this hook. So let's see how I got this made. So to get started with our sailmaker's bench hook that has a scorpion tail, like it says in the sailmaker's apprentice, I'm starting with this uh, hook and eye that I found at the hardware store. I think it was maybe about $3 or something like that. So what my plan is, is to first I'm going to cut this uh, hook eye off of here. Yeah. Then in order to get the scorpion tail in there, I'm going to cut this off flat. And then I have here, if I can pick it up, the, a compass that I had gotten one time had a um, small a uh, point for the compass had, had an extra. So I think I'm going to use this. And I've got a small drill bit here that is uh, the same size. And I'm going to then drill a hole in there and fasten that uh, little scorpion tail, it, the way he describes it, in the end there. In Marino's book, he talks about how to do a simple eye splice like this. So I thought what I would do is to take some marlin cord here and some marline, I should say, some marline and make an eye splice um, around my hook. That looks pretty decent. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is to um, take my tape off and I'm going to put a whipping line on there.
Well, now that we have our sail hook finished, we can turn our attention to the last tool, which is a sailor's palm. And this is what a sailor's palm looks like. So here are two of them. One is a seaming palm, which is like this. And the other is a roping palm. And the roping palm has a piece of leather that goes around your thumb. So what I'm going to make to start with is a seaming palm. And this one in this picture here is for left-handed. So the one that I've made here is out of leather and I used a copper penny for the thimble in it. And you can see how that will fit on my hand like so. Now the way these are used to hold a needle is illustrated here. So let's uh, take a look at how I made this seaming palm. So to get ready to make the sewing palm, I'm going to uh, use my left hand as a pattern for a couple of reasons. One, um, I probably shouldn't be sewing with my right hand yet. Uh, and also, um, regardless of that, if I, I am right-handed, so I should be able to manipulate and make the pattern on my left hand. And then to make one for my right hand, I should simply be able to reverse that pattern. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a piece of paper towel here. I'm going to first cut a little hole in it for my thumb. Okay, so that works pretty good. About the right length. So I'm going to tape that on my hand. So now I'm just going to mark out kind of what I think it should look like, roughly. And I just think I'm going to cut this out and make a pattern. After a little tweaking, I'm uh, pretty happy with the way that looks. So I'm going to open this up and make a pattern, or use it as a pattern, I should say, on a piece of leather here.
Well, it's been 24 hours now since I've uh, put this in these clamps. Um, this, uh, the main piece, it looks like it's formed pretty good um, and looks like it'll, it'll work. So let's see what we have here. So I just need to figure out how to get this on there like that. And then uh, I think I'm going to trace out where this is so that I'll know how far in to uh, trim it. So I've got a couple of leather uh, tools here. This is a stitching groover and this is an edge beveler. So the stitching groover, how that works is it'll put a little groove along here that I can run the stitches in. So it's just a matter of and then the, the edge beveler you just run along here and it cleans the edge up nicely. All right, so the next thing I want to do is to take uh, my cork and attach this copper penny to it. Uh, but before I do that, <clears throat> I'm going to go over to the drill press and I'm going to drill a series of holes all over here that would hold the needle from sliding around uh, when we're pushing on it. So that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put those dimples in that. Then I'm going to glue this to the leather and then put that inside there and then get it positioned on the uh, main strap. Start with a length of thread and use two needles to do a saddle stitch.
So that's it for our basic sail making kit. Uh, I think we have all of the tools now to get started with that apprentice program in sail making. So the first order of business will be start making that ditty bag. Uh, speaking of apprentice programs, I'm excited to announce that I'm beginning a new program called Boat Building Boot Camp, the simple steps to building your boat. Now in this pilot program, I'm only going to be taking 15 participants. So if you're thinking about building a boat or you've began building a boat or you just like to have a refresher or to join a community of people that are interested in boat building, you might be a good fit for this program. There's a link below that you can schedule a talk with me to see if you're a good fit. Now, I've only got three slots left and this is the last week that I'll be taking enrollment in it. So please don't delay if it's something that you're interested in. So thanks for watching and remember, if you're gonna make it, make it beautiful. Mm -hmm.